on your comment there, the defense will be as good or better. Are we that confident with sheltered third pairing minutes that Faber is going to come in and be better than Dumba? I yes. think defensively he will be. Um, and I, I, we can talk about Dumba too in a sec, but uh, I'm very con- – like, I mean, you just look at Brock Faber. First of all, the track record like in terms of junior hockey, college hockey, world juniors, all that, like there's just not been any – step back at all like every situation he stepped into he's more than risen his level obviously he's doing only getting better but like when he, again like we talked about this last time we talked about brock Faber, like hit how well he stepped in to that playoff series against dallas obviously yeah. they lost six or whatever but like at no point throughout that series did, were, was anyone thinking like oh maybe he's not ready and that was a that was an incredibly difficult playoff series yeah. for your first like real games because i mean he had the couple games there in the regular season that were throwaway games anyways at that point um throwaway game down in rochester yeah exactly um but i mean like the physicality was there both buildings were nuts just everything that was going on in the series like high pressure moments at all times when he's on the ice and as the series went on he took on more responsibility they gave him more uh, meaningful minutes and he just continued to get better as it went on so i don't really have any uh trepidation about like hey what if he like is it possible that he just like craters because he's also going to probably be on that second pair really with brodeen so yeah. the fact that now he's gonna probably be playing with brodeen like i don't really see a world where um you know it's it's some major step back from a guy like matt dumba who people can shit on him all they want. Like realistically, he he wasn't as bad as everyone has tried to just make about to be for years now. Um, And I get like, you're just getting this young kid. I I love that. It's going to be probably with Brodeen, who is one of the elite defensemen in the NHL. Um, And I think that's such a fun pair, not in terms of like huge offense creation, but like the skating ability, the defending ability, um, it just like the transition game. Like, I think it's going to be, it, if they can just like click, which I, I think they will uh, pretty easily. Um, I think that's going to be a pair that's going to end up logging huge minutes. And I think, I think favor is going to be a big part of that defense pretty much from day one. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any, any, I'm not, I have no worries about how that's going to look for, uh, for favor in the, in the wild. So I agree with you long-term. I still think that it's a totally different dynamic to come in and play a way different role. Like he, yeah, he's playing with Brodeen, which helps, but he is getting the big boy minutes. He's going up against McKinnon's line, right? He's going to be taking Bedard. And do I think that he'll adapt into that? Sure. But the first call it 10 games that could certainly be a little bit of a wake up call and people will probably overreact because he has a couple of bad games early on. And I think by the time playoffs are all around, should the wild be a part of it? I think he's locked and ready. Yeah. So my internet went out up until the, the 10 game thing. Uh, so I yeah, can... said, yeah, just but... nod and smile and say, yeah, you nailed it. Yeah. You nailed it, dude. Um, but I should, I I should actually, and I don't, you may quite literally have just said this. So who knows? Here we go. Uh, (laughs) But I mean, like like you were saying at the end there, like I'm not expecting to come in and immediately like no mistakes. What? Like I'm not at all uh, throwing that out there. Like he's going to have his ups and downs because it's going to be his first full 82 game season. So obviously there's going to be high points, low points, but I think, just the overall body of work. I think it's going to be a, a dynamic pair. And again, like I think it's a lot different too than him being on like a sheltered third pair, just because being on be like playing with Brodeen is kind of just like a set sheltering as is just because Brodeen does so much for that pair already where he's going to be doing a whole lot of work too. But um, they yeah. both, it's they're both defensemen that make their partners lives significantly easier and i'm curious to see what like it does for brody because obviously like there's yeah. been times where he's had to save save that pair like get him out of trouble and at times like 
when Dumba has been in that, like those like funks that we see him in, uh, that we had seen him in for the past couple of years. Uh, there were times where Brodeen's play took a hit too, but I'm very curious to like, see what it actually does for Brodeen to have a young stud like uh, Faber whose game kind of mirrors a version of Brodeen's game too. So I'm very curious to see like, what it does for him. Um, but yeah, I'm still very confident. Oh, boy. Like again, Internet's I think it's a very different than him being there. a third pair of sheltered minutes, but his, but his, oh no, but his partners like Klingberg or Merrill or whatever. Um, I still think it's different. It's it's going to be interesting to see, right? It's going to be like, he's going to be in a tougher situation with a better partner. Like, what are we going to see from that? And right. like we're both saying here, I think over the course of the season, positive early on, calm the fuck down. If there's speed bumps, that's it. Yeah. Like, you know, early on, he's going to make one unbelievable play and everyone's going to go nuts and then, like, next shift, he might, like, cough one up, like, turn over right in front of Gustafson, whatever, and be like, oh, no, he's not ready. So it's going to be both. I, I, pr- I, like, beg people to just, like, not react. to the- I mean, you can react in the moment, but don't make it some, like, proclamation of who the player is immediately. I know that's not going to happen, obviously. Like, we can never expect people to be reasonable. Um, I'm just, like, <laughs> especially as a defenseman, like, I just, like, beg people to be like a like just a little bit more patient but i know it's hard and people don't want to so it is what it is but Ugh. again I, i'm loving he's the only idea got of those two points in the first 10 games what a fucking loser <laughs> yeah exactly yeah 